Okay, this is sh sugarcane, and this, the glorious Brazilian sunshine, is the center for sugarcane research. Uh, this is a national institution, and they cover everything here from seed breeding to uh, plant growth establishment, right through to um, the sugar extraction, and ultimately the development of ethanol. This stuff, sugarcane. 30% of it is grown, in the world's crop is grown here in Brazil. These guys use it for not just food but also for fuel. Their cars have been running on a variety of, of ethanol derived from sugarcane since the late 1970s. But what they're trying to do here at the Institute for Plant Research, or the Centre for, for Sugarcane Technology, is to use transgenics GMO technology to breed varieties of sugarcane that are much higher in sucrose. At the moment, this sugarcane crop's got a, a sucrose content probably of 15% per plant. What they want to do here is to improve that up to 20 or 25%, making it a much more efficient food crop, but also much more efficient for fuel. If this alarms you, then maybe it shouldn't. This is in fact all conventional. These are very small sugarcane plantlets being grown in liquid culture because it's more efficient to do that. This is sugarcane in further stages of development. It has to be grown in these secure greenhouses because uh, it's not licensed for cultivation out in the open. Brazil is very strict on its transgenic rules. Everything has to be kept secure and in a secure environment, which is one reason why these are growing in tubs and not into the soil itself. It's just coming to the end of rush hour here in Londrinas in Brazil's southern state, Parana. These vehicles are running on a mixture of 50% ethanol derived from sugarcane and 50% petrol. And this is something that Brazil is immensely proud of. The role it sees for GM technology to play is in making the sugar more productive, more efficient and ultimately producing more ethanol to reduce its carbon emissions. I can't show you an ethanol factory at the moment because it just happens to be the time of year where they finish processing the old crop sugarcane uh, and the new harvest isn't ready to come in yet, so the factory is shut down for, for routine maintenance. But Brazil is really proud of the advances it's made in reducing its carbon emissions through bioethanol and it's fair to say it's a world leader in that. There are some who would say that the area given over to production of sugarcane for ethanol can only lead to more environmental damage, but Brazilians would point out that only 1% of their sugarcane acreage or sugarcane productive area goes to make ethanol. The opportunity they see is that if GM technology can make that sugar more efficient, no greater area will be needed.